Melchora Aquino de Ramos, Tandang Sora, January 6, 1812 to March 2, 1919. Tandang Sora, Melchora Aquino was born the 6th of January, 1812 in Balantawak. She did not complete school, but was educated. She was a talented singer and performed at church. Many people think she was very beautiful. She married Fulgenci Ramos, a cabeza de barrio, or a village chief, and they had six children. Her husband died, and she was left as a single parent. Melchora continued her life as Hermana Mayor. She assisted with fiestas, baptisms, and weddings. She worked very hard to give her children an education. Melchora was present at the beginning of the Philippine Revolution. She operated a small Sari Sari store, which she used as a refuge for sick and wounded revolutionaries. She provided rice and carabaos and medical attention and gave motherly advice. She also helped the revolutionaries pray. Secret meetings were held at her house. She earned other names like Mother of Revolution and Tandang Sora. The Spaniards found out about Tandang Sora and her activities and her knowledge of the Capitaneros or revolutionaries. She was strong and resisted giving the information. The Spanish Guardia Civil or Civil Guard arrested her and deported her to Guam with another woman, Segunda Puentes. They were placed under house arrest where she remained for six years. After the United States took over control of the Philippines in 1896, Tandang Sora and other exiles returned to the Philippines. Tandang Sora died on the 2nd of March 1919 at age 107. She was buried in her backyard. Her body was transferred on her 200th birthday to a shrine in Banlat, Quezon City. The values she exhibited are also exemplary. She showed great strength of character and great courage during the revolution and beyond, thus shattering traditional stereotypes of gender and age.